What's up guys? Welcome back by this new video. Today doing the Summer Cup and today going to test out Trevenant or mainly focus because Trevenant with Seed Bump, Seed Bump got boosted this uh, yeah this season with five more power so yeah we're just testing it out if it's better or worse but yeah we'll just test it out so let's yeah Trevenant uh, it's a ghost and grass type and it has uh, Shadow Claws, Fast Move, Seed Bump, and Shadow Ball as Charge Moves, and will be assisted by Emolga and Greninja. But this will definitely be a great video. I just got gradi graduated. I just passed through school, so I graduated. I don't know. At least I finished my school time period, so I'm very happy because of that. But let's hop into the first match. We're starting. Straight into a very weak lead. Opponent goes into Entropius, unfortunately enough. Throwing it on the CMP, Night Slash. And uh, this video will be pre-recorded for Thursday because I will be in Madrid and I won't be able to make any kind of video. So yeah, that's why. But at least going here for Night Slash. Night Slash, okay damage. Opponent will go here for a leaf plate. I just have to win switch. Just have to get that Trevenant stuck into their um, Swampert. So that's why. At least going here for Night Slash will deal okay damage. Opponent shields actually. That's really interesting. But I do not really want to shield yet. So yeah. <laughs> Opponent leaf place. I will this time go for two water shurikens. Go for night slash. Night slash. Got shielded. Opponent will go for leaf place. And unfortunately enough, you will be able to KO me, but that's okay. Right now, I'll just go for an entire spark farm down. I think that could be the best option. Because opponent with aerial ace and leaf plate both won't be able to KO me. At least one shot me. So that's fine. Leaf plate almost does nothing. And I can perfectly go for the farm down. Ah, no. Unfortunately enough, opponent can make it to the last second leaf plate. That's a little bit painful, but I can handle it. There's the leaf blade. Opponent goes into their swampert. I'm going straight for the acrobatics. No baiting or anything. I don't really need to bait. So acrobatics, massive damage. Making it then to the discharge on the CMP. There's absolutely no way that I just did this. This judge will be able to KO. It's not very effective, but will be able to KO. Oh no, I've lost. Opponent in the back has got a Noctal. And yeah, Trevenant is completely walled by that Pokemon. At least a n normal and flying type. So yeah, really nice save of that Pokemon. Maybe I had to switch into Trevenant, but. Yeah, we will always end it in the same thing, so yeah. But right now we're going against Crollector. Going Emolga into Shadow Quagsire. I will switch straight into my Greninja. It's a much better Pokemon. However, opponent goes, unfortunately enough, into Charge Bug. I think I've won the CMP, so that's good. Going straight for the Hydro Cannon, no baiting. Opponent lets it go, that's quite huge. I think I can win Switch if I'm right. Because Water Shuriken is just one turn faster than uh, Volt Switch, so I can go for one Water Shuriken, then making it to the beautiful Night Slash. Night Slash got shielded, it's great. Got even my attack boosted, going then for another Night Slash. And right now it's all up to the opponent what he will do with this move. I think he will shield. Just, oh no. No, he won't. Oh, that's a huge mistake. Look at the damage already. In against the Charizard. Going into Emolga. 
I don't really care if the opponent will make a catch or something. I can think a blast burn here, so not a problem at all. On one HP, <laughs> but it's okay. Going uh, then for discharge, opponent may shield it. No, he isn't, and that's a good game because I have Trevenant. An opponent is completely stuck into my Trevenant. I will let the first move go. I just simply can handle that. Absolutely not a problem. There's the Stone Edge. Did at least quite some damage, but I can handle it. I'm making it then to a beautiful Seed Bomb. Seed Bomb will definitely be shielded. It just has to be. So I, I will just farm and keep farming opponent. If I'm right, made, didn't made it to back-to-back Aquatil, -back I guess. There's the first Aquatil. No, I've won the CMP. Oh my gosh. Absolutely didn't expect it that all opponents would already have been able to make it to back-to-back -back Aquatil. But luckily enough, my Trevenant isn't that high ranked. So I can go in for the Seed Bomb. Opponent just left the game. And I've won. So... One win into two loses into the fourth match. No, no, one, what I'm saying. Um, one win into one lose into the third match. Sorry for that. <laughs> We're going against Banana Tiny, something like that. Starting once again very bad into Shadow Wishcash. So I have to switch straight into my Greninja. Oh, opponent makes a beautiful catch, I think, on a Greedent. Okay, Greedent, I can actually handle. Absolutely not a problem going here straight for the Hydro Cannon. Does great damage, absolutely love that. Opponent, opponent may have got Trailblaze on the Greedent, so I have to be careful for that. Going for Hydro Cannon. Maybe I will shield the first one, just to check. I will just shield. I think that's the best. If I can win switch advantage, yeah, there's a trailblaze. And but if I can win switch advantage and then throw in the Trevenant into that Shadow Wish Cache, it will all be amazing. So going for another Hydro Cannon opponent shields. I think opponent is already in a Night Slash range. So why not just go for the Night Slash? Opponent trailblazes me once again. And I'm going here for Night Slash and KOing the opponent. Maybe my attack will be boosted. Will be very nice at the moment. But yeah, we'll just see. Yo, no way! <laughs> I actually got it. Wow. <laughs> Didn't expect that. But the opponent will definitely return with wish, Shadow Wish Cash. I think goes for the Mud Bomb to KO me. But uh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, Mud Bomb KOs, unfortunately enough. But it's okay. Going Trevenant, Trevenant can absolutely handle a Shadow Wish Cash here. Opponent goes, if I'm right, for Scald. Oh, but it will be fun if I'm using Blizzard on a Shadow Wish Cash. I will go for a little over farm. Making it then to a Seed Bomb. I'm really interested what kind of Pokemon the opponent would have in the back. So I will wait for that. Seed Bomb. We're seeing their own Trevenant. But I can make it to a Shadow Ball first. Going for Shadow Ball and KOing the opponent. So that's absolutely great. So two wins into one lose into the fourth match of the first week. So we're going right now against Nikki Tenga. So yeah, we're going right now into hmm, very interesting one, Galventila. I think I can actually stay in here. However, Galventula isn't the best Pokemon to go against. I hope this will be a lunge. However, it will still deal some damage. No, it's a discharge. I will switch. <laughs> go into my Trevenant. Maybe not, not, not the best switch. But I just want to save my Emolga for now. That's why. So opponent lunges me. One, two, three. Then going, yeah, maybe I had to go for the Shadow Ball. 
However, a seed bomb could do already enough amount of damage. And get a shield, that's perfect. Absolutely wanted that. That means I have to shield this move at least. That's the best. Shielding the lunge. Going for another seed bomb. And I think KOing that Galventula right now. Yes, perfect. Opponent goes for a very risky switch into a Quagsire. That means it's time for my Emolga going straight for the Acrobatics, dealing massive damage. But because we saw Bug type right now, then we got a Water slash Ground type. Maybe in the back there will be a Water type, but we will just see. At least going for Discharge, trying to get a shield. That I'm getting final shield from the opponent. Greninja into a Polyrad. Yeah, but because it's a Shadow Polyrad, I won't be able to win. Mm, there's just no way. The opponent really nice saved up that Shadow Polyrad. Maybe I had to, to throw in my Greninja into that Shadow Quagsire and then save my Molga <gasps> for that Shadow Polyrad. I could have won it maybe then, but yeah, messed up. So two wins into two loses against, yeah, Jair Tatan in the last match. So we're starting once again very weak into an parified, oh no, Quagsire opponent straight switches out into a Venusaur that I don't like. But I will just try, maybe I can win switch somehow here. Going for Night Slash, dealing already enough amount of damage. Maybe maybe I can leave here with uh, shield advantage instead of switch. So opponent shielded that night slash as well. I just want to try to get rid of all of the opponent shields. I think that will be a very nice opportunity. Then strike with some shadow balls here and there. So going for night slash. Night slash. Got shielded. Okay, so I got rid of all of the opponent's shields. That's great. I will be met probably by a sludge bomb here that I can tank it one time only. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, there's the sludge. Two, three. Okay, at least I can make it to the discharge and KO this Venusaur. So that's amazing. Discharge KOs that Venusaur. I will switch straight into my Trevenant. Hopefully there's no fire type in the back. That's a, a very interesting Pokemon that's out of the meta. And very spicy. Isui and Arcanine. Going for Shadow. Oh, I can one shot. Oh, wow. Absolutely didn't expect that. Okay, so that Pokemon is very classy. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, I will shield. It's a Mud Bomb. Then winning the CMP and making it to the Seed Bomb. Double super effective. KOing the opponent and making a beautiful win. And that's amazing. So love it. Absolutely. Three wins with this team. I think that's really, really great. And yeah, let's claim our rewards we're getting. Licky Tongue is our reward. Yeah, it seems that this Pokemon will be every season. <laughs> it's a very popular one, but it's okay. Not the worst. So Licky Tongue. It's okay. Um yeah, claim my rank. Yeah, I don't think this video we will be able to get rank 18, but I can try at least. So let's hop then into the second streak, first match, mm -hmm. I would say. We're going against Tony Big. Going into a Vigorot in the first match, into my Moga. I think that's okay. Okay, I will go first straight for the bait move 
with the discharge. Seeing how this will go. Discharge, got shielded, that's huge. That means I can then go from perfect acrobatics. Opponents may bait me out as well, but yeah, I actually don't really care about that. It's going to shield, ah, it's a body slam. Okay, fine. Going for acrobatics. After this acrobatics, I think for me the best option is to go for one spark and then switch in my, oh, or just straight switch into Trevenant and making a beautiful catch with that rock slide. Opponents may go for a fire type, but that's okay. I'm just shadow clawing down. Okay, opponent goes into charger bug, actually not the best Pokemon. And I hate that we got a ton of lag there, but at least I made it to the shadow ball. Very happy because of that. So going shadow ball, great damage. Opponent didn't shield. But is allowed to KO me right now. Um, yeah, that's totally fine. Opponent X Scissor, we got a weak connection, it even says on the screen. Um I switched out into wait, why is it working? I, I switched oh no. Don't say that the game just crashed out. Um yeah, something went wrong. <laughs> Um, yeah, I know weak connection. Um, yeah, I'm... what's all this? Um, oh, you have to be kidding me. Okay, Imolga may finish this match. Hopefully, I can at least win it. However, I absolutely didn't enjoy that lag that we got, but at least you saw it, guys, so, yeah. No, not once again. No, I will be dead by those bubbles. I have to shield. But I really hate this. I think it's not my mistake this time that I got weak connection. I think... Uh, it's uh, on the opponent's device that we have that problem right now. Look at how long this <laughs> time goes. Discharge, got shielded. I absolutely can couldn't do anything here. Weirdest match ever. Maybe as a short will be fun. But yeah, um, I've lost. <laughs> so into the third match of the second streak, I will... Yeah, just let's see if I crash once again. So we're going against weird, weird name guy. We're going Imolga into Charger Buck. That's actually okay for me. This lead right now. No, why do we got weak connection once again? Just absolutely sad that at front. Yeah, I think, yeah, this will definitely be discharge. So I just have to shoot. Yeah, there's the discharge. So two more volt switches, still another discharge. I'll bait opponent out with a beautiful and beautiful discharge. No opponent caught the bait. So that's not good, but at least I'm making a beautiful discharge catch. Love it. Oh no. What do we have here for spice? And Litleo. It's a normal fire type. Maybe Pyroar will be fun. Okay, I, I absolutely like this Pokemon that the opponent used. <laughs> but I, I actually don't know the moveset, so I think I don't want to shield here because this could be a flame charge. Or something like that. Yeah, there's the flame charge. Okay. Oh no, opponent can outpace me. Um, yeah, because there's a charger buck in the back, I want shield this one as well. It's a crunch. I think that's okay. Now I have to go in for the night slash, otherwise I will be dead. And then I will be able to throw one night slash into that charger buck. So Night Slash got rid of that Litleo. Opponent goes into Vigoroth. That's 
the opponent's last Pokemon. Absolutely not liking that. Going for Night Slash. Emolga time. Going to bait once again, but yeah, I think I've messed up with that baiting a little bit before. But at least going here for the discharge. And um, yeah, I've lost. <laughs> I am absolutely unable to win. So yeah, that's really nice played by the opponent. So one win into two loses into the fourth match of the second streak. So we're going right now against Heidi Plus. Interesting name. Okay, finally the first real good lead into uh, a Toxapex. I will definitely stay in here. Oh, no, opponent makes a beautiful catch into, uh, yeah, charger bug. So yeah, I think for me the best option is to switch into Trevenant in my opinion. I can let one X scissor go. Hopefully I will be able to outpace the opponent, but we will see that one. Okay, I can win the CMP, so I'm forcing the opponent to use a shield. I l really love that. Yes, perfect. Yeah, I absolutely want to win Switch because of that Toxapex, so I will definitely shield here as well. So there's the X-Scissor. So three more. One, two, three. Making it to beautiful Seed Bomb. It's already enough to KO the charge bug. So Seed Bomb gets rid of the charge bug and opponent properly returns with Toxapex, if I'm right. Hopefully I am. And maybe I can make it then to Shadow Ball, but we will see. No, I can only make it to a Seed Bomb because Shadow Ball is just a little bit short, but Seed Bomb it's an already alright move. At least Toxapex is right now in that very nice discharge range. Or oh, I think this is a bait with a brine. No, it's a sludge. Oof. And I won't be able to make it to a move. Oh no. Don't say that I've just messed up this. I will just over farm to, I don't know, 100. Going to shield. Okay, it's another sludge wave. That's totally fine. Opponent in the bag has got a sheep. Why do we see a double in the bag? No. Go for hydro cannon. No, got shielded straight. I didn't expect that that opponent would already shield the first hydro cannon. But yeah, I think we will see a wild charge and I will loss. Oh yeah, I've just lost. Seeing the wild charge and really nice play by the opponent. And so, yeah. Not a lose, not, not great. So, one win into three loses into the last match of the second streak, I guess. Or not. I think... Uh, no, we didn't win yet. Mm. So, only three loses yet. Oh, that's not cute. At least into the fourth match against Rock... Paper, scissors, it has to be. So we're going Emolga into Shadow Victory Well, Absolutely like this lead. Okay, it's a Leaf Edge one. Opponent tries to bait me out, but he fails with that. At least I'm very comfortable with this lead. Opponent stone edges me, but that's fine. Then I can go for six more Mud Bombs. And make it to seed bump or oh, five more. One, two, three, four. Okay, this is only a mud bump, I can think. <laughs> Absolutely not a problem. Equatil. I will just save up to a seed bump and then a shadow ball. So going here for the first seed bump, seeing how this one goes. KO straight. That Quagsire, making it to a Shadow Ball, will definitely be shielded by the opponent. 
There's just no other way. Wait, he didn't shield. Oh my gosh. He absolutely messed up. Okay, so right now we're seeing Stunfisk. You know the form. So for me, the best option is to go into Emolga. Go straight for that Acrobatics. I only need to get one shield from the opponent and then I've won. But Acrobatics already does great amount of damage. So absolutely love that. His opponent then goes for Discharge. I can actually tank that perfectly. Then making it to another Acrobatics. I just have to wait till the opponent makes another move. So Acrobatics got shielded. It still could be quite difficult to win. So I just have to remain focused here. So Mud Bomb. I think Night Slash is already enough. I'll, I just have to shield off those moves. I don't care if it is a Mud Bomb or a Discharge. A yeah, Mud Bomb is, I think, 5 energy cheaper than a Discharge, but yeah, it doesn't really care or matter. I can handle it. Going for Night Slash, opponent shields. Going to shield here once again. And I think then it's the best option will be to throw in a Night Slash to just get rid of the opponent. I think that's the best. So hopefully it KOs that you know for Stun Fisk. No, 1 HP. Don't say that I'm losing on 1 HP. Okay, thank you. Philly. Thank you. So, yeah, 3 wins into... No, 3 loses into 1 win. Sorry, once again, a little bit tired. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, into the last match of the second streak. It is right now, at least. We're going against Master CG. I'm going Emolga into Ch Shiny Emolga into Chargebuck. Um, yeah, I can handle this. This time I really want to bait out the opponent. Hopefully I am unable to do that. So X Scissor I can tank. One. Two. Unfortunately, it was an X Scissor, but I can tank an X Scissor, absolutely not a problem. Making it then to a Discharge, an opponent. Yeah, this is absolutely an X Scissor, so I won't throw in a shield. <laughs> One, two, opponent is already able to KO me, so I have to go here for the Acrobatics. Okay, KO is the charger box, so I'm leaving here with switch, but not with shield. However, I can win. I I can win. Uh, switch, perfectly. However, I don't like the Greninja. So discharge got shielded, and unfortunately, but I think uh, I don't know what kind of move opponents will do. At least he has thrown four water shurikens. He goes for Night Slash. I'm just going straight for the Hydro Cannon. I think that's the best. I'm going to Shield. That's the best option. It's a Night Slash. Switching and making a beautiful catch. Will this be an Hydro Cannon or just a Night Slash? We will see. It's a Night Slash. Oh no, that's unlucky. Really unlucky. Yeah, I knew there will be a Fire type in the back. Okay, my only chance of winning is... No, I think I will lose CMP actually. But to get a, yeah, an attack boost from this Night Slash. Because opponent has Thunder Punch. I can win the CMP, but unfortunately enough, didn't got the tech boost, so I think I've lost. Yeah, did all right. Oh no, don't say that. I'm right now getting that attack boost. How unlucky can it be sometimes this game? <laughs> but uh, still, it doesn't really matter. So we are right now at four wins. So yeah, four wins to go.
and then uh, we made it to eight wins but still doesn't really matter because we are not even in ace rank but it's okay and yeah guys definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel to help me reach those 500 subscribers because we only need 30 more and we are not even halfway of the month so just please press the subscribe button definitely appreciate that right now first match of the third streak against Lysica starting into Scatterdurt not actually the best Pokemon to start with but I can handle it I will just go straight with acrobatics no baiting or anything with a discharge acrobatics it's just the best move look at the damage no way if i know do i want to risk i i really like risking things but yes okay i risk it just shadow clawing that skeleton dirge down <laughs> opponent goes into a very nice pelican doesn't really matter i can go for a beautiful seed bump Dealing so I think getting a shield. Yes, exactly. That's I love that. Okay, opponent. Uh, she goes for a weather ball. I can actually handle that, so not a problem. Then switching back into my Emolga and dealing double super effective damage. I can tank one weather ball, only one. So we will just absolutely do that. Here it comes. Okay, um, yeah, I don't like that superior in the back, so we just have a type call water grass thing team. Unfortunately enough, opponent just shielded the move, and yeah, the only win way I can potentially win if this isn't a frenzy plant, but it is. And just a very unlucky. Yeah, I could have known that. It will probably be one of those teams. But yes, the problem with those teams is just it's quite difficult to beat the opponent with that. So yeah, at least really nice play by the opponent. Into the second match of the third streak against Otello. Going Emolga into Dunsparce. Yeah, not the best lead. I know four, t four rollouts is equal to a rock slide. So then making a beautiful catch into Greninja. Just have, I just have a little feeling that there could be something like a Vigorath as well in their team. Now we're seeing Miauskarada. A very spicy team we're seeing. I have that Pokemon as well somewhere. I don't know why, but very interesting. It's just a little replacement of a shift tree. And it has a Night Slash and I think a Grass move. So because of this reason, I think for me the best option to throw in is my Emolga. Opponent goes for a Night Slash, I suppose. Yeah, there's the Night Slash. Does quite some damage because Miyoshkarada is quite attack based. And I'm losing the CMP. No way that I've lost that. That's quite, uh, yeah, that's quite annoying, actually. <laughs> I'm going for Night Slash. I, yeah, but Emoga is quite attack based as well. Hmm. Interesting. Acrobatics at least KOs the Meowskarada. Opponent, Dunsparce. I actually really want to hit my acrobatics there, so I have to throw in opponent rock slides. I'm going for the acrobatics, that's my best move. And hopefully, in the back, we will see something like a water type. Hopefully, so going into Trevenant. Opponent isn't switching, so that could be. Something like uh, a water type in the back, maybe. 
I think for me the best option is try to shadow claw. No, wait, my shadow claw definitely hit it, the opponent before. Don't say that there will, will be a water type in the back. Yeah, I I was just definitely before the opponent with my shadow claw. So yeah, I actually I think I wouldn't be able to win. But it will be maybe a little bit close. I actually don't know. Mm. But at least, yeah, really nice plays into the third match, third streak. Going against Pananus. Going Imolga into Lantern. Quite of a neutral lead. Um, yeah, I will definitely stay in here. Maybe I can catch over two of those yeah two sparks if the opponent isn't making um any kind of move i will switch and exactly make a beautiful catch on my trevenant absolutely love that go opponent goes for surf yeah there we seeing an alolan marowak unfortunately enough but at least I will be able to make it to a Shadow Ball, so that's alright. Not too special, getting a shield from the opponent. No! No shield! He messed up, absolutely. He just messed up the game. He goes into Lantern. I can make it to a Seed Bomb as well. There's just no way that I'm doing this. But I think there's one problem. There's a grass type in the back. <laughs> he just, oh my gosh, he just committed. If he just shielded that lantern, I absolutely would not have any kind of way to escape the opponent's lantern. Mm. So he would have won. But I probably would have brought in my Greninja, to be honest. But at least, yeah, we've nice one. One win into two loses into the fourth match of the third streak starting straight into a lowland marowak i will go first with a bait before i'm going for the acrobatics i think that's the best thing to do so just the, just a simple discharge i think that's okay um opponent hopefully doesn't go for that bone club no, he goes. Uh, I'm pressing that stupid acrobatics. Not the, I, I, no, don't be like this, please. Game, no. Ah, oh, and another bone club. It, it yeah, I will definitely have one that was CMP. Opponent won't use a shield right now, and I have a disadvantage. Oh, he is using a shield. Okay. Yeah, I, I hate that, the weak connection issue. My connection is just absolutely okay. I don't know, maybe there is something new with that opponents are throwing in something. Opponent makes a beautiful catch into Toxapex. No, don't be like this game. I've absolutely lost. At least going into Night Slash. Opponent will soon enough throw in a sludge wave at me, but that's okay. Going for another night slash. Finally getting a boost, but it's quite useless. Because opponent will go here for that sludge wave. So I don't have any kind of chance. No, we go for a brine. Why do you go for a, just a brine? Okay. Very interesting to see that. I will go for Night Slash, will I think almost be able to KO the opponent. Okay, so my plan is to go for one Shadow Claw, then switch. No, we didn't got the catch. I've lost. Opponent goes for Shadow Bone and I've lost. So yeah. Um, 
yeah, five wins at total right now. Can make it to six, but yeah, it's not good. Yesterday's video uh, wasn't the best as well, but yeah, maybe because it's pre-recorded. I do not do often that thing, but because of GoFest. But yeah, at least into the last match of the video, and we just see how it goes against Mario. Going Imolga into Lantern. Yeah, it seems that Lantern is quite popular today. Um, yeah, I can definitely stay in here. Making it then to a simple discharge. I will go for one more spark. After that spark, I will switch into Trevenant. Okay, no catch, unfortunately enough. Opponent goes... That's a spicy pick. Shadow Gradily. I can tank one rock slide, so not a problem. Absolutely not a problem. No, once again weak connection. Because of that I gave the opponent a free bullet seed. You absolutely have to be kidding me. Ah, and seed bomb wasn't shielded. Yeah, that's also a thing. But at least I know I can just shadow claw the opponent right now before he makes it to another potential rock slide. So that's amazing. And maybe I will be able to throw in two seed bombs. Will be amazing. So pressing that seed bomb massively. Ugh, opponent. Why didn't the opponent just went straight for Skeletor Dirge? I actually don't know. Oh, I knew that I will go for. Yeah, that thing. Going for Night Slash. Opponent has to shield it, otherwise he's dead. So that's okay. Um, I will shield. Ooh, no way! I made a beautiful catch into my Morga. Because opponent goes straight for the Thunderbolt, I know that. It was supposed to be just... No, no, no! I... Oh, I pressed it. Oh no, I messed up. But the opponent makes it to another Thunderbolt. So it doesn't really matter that one discharge. I At least I've, I've tried. <laughs> but uh, yeah, five wins, it's quite bad. But yeah, my opinion about that seed bomb Trevenant. Yeah, I, I actually don't see really the difference. Uh, yeah, about that Pokemon. But maybe it's better. I actually don't know that. But yeah, at least we had a ton of fun with this team. Even we lost that many matches. But doesn't really matter. We are at Metroid right now, so it doesn't matter. But at least, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely press the like and subscribe button to help me reach those 500 subscribers. I will, I would really appreciate that. Hopefully, I can see you maybe in Madrid if you are there. And hopefully, you have a great time as well there if you are. <laughs> and yeah, I will see you then in the next video. It will be probably pre-recorded as well. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.